I'm surprised I'm actually getting these down smash combos though. Like what the hell? No way this hits again. Like where are you going? You're lost. Dollar Tree headset, so free, freer than a public restroom. You're literally dog water. No way, this is not okay. I can't be doing that to people, bro. I can't be doing that to people. Oh my god. CC resets. All right, this used to be a mechanic that used to create infinite combos back in the day. There was two classes that did this really well. That was Zerker and Sork. And then occasionally, I guess, Awaken Ranger can get some CC resets off consistently pre-reboot. But nowadays, that mechanic's almost completely gone, which is super unfortunate because if you go back like three, four months ago, that's what I was known for, baby. That's all I did in Battle Arena was learn how to CC reset and infinitely combo people for five ten minutes at a time what's going on everyone my name is saint felipe and welcome back to another video today we're going to be talking about cc resets and before we really get started i do want to quickly mention that if you see me talking to someone in the video that is because i'm talking to my chat over at twitch.tv forward slash not saint felipe fun fact i'm actually streaming every single day this year so chances are if you come check me out over there i will probably be live because like i said every single day i stream monday through monday baby like i previously mentioned cc resetting is a mechanic that is used to create infinite combos it used to be way more consistent before the reboot but it's still possible in today's version of black desert the way it works is actually pretty simple in black desert there is a cc limit of two and most crowd control skills have a value of one so you know simple math tells us that one plus one equals two so that means in most combos you are only able to cc your target two times before they are immune to cc's for a whole two seconds and this cc limit mechanic makes so much sense because most people don't want to be knocked around for 25 minutes straight that is just a terrible gaming experience but what if I told you that there is a CC type that completely ignores CC limits? Introducing down smashes. So a down smash can be applied even if you are at CC limit and it will make your character kind of bounce around. The whole idea behind a CC reset is to hit them with as many down smashes as possible, make their character bounce around on the ground for two whole seconds until the CC limit wears off and then you can hit them with a whole new combo, just back to back combos. Maybe it's a little nostalgia, maybe it's just me holding on to my past, but in this video, you will watch me land, I don't know, three, four, five CC resets, or at least attempt to. That being said, don't fall, like, my combos are bad. Like, my combos are genuinely bad, so don't follow them. There's, like, actually good combos out there. The reason I go for the combo that I do right now is because it's full super armor damage as well. So like in AOA, it's the same combo that I do. Cause I could I could do the same exact thing. I can grim, I can swirl, and I can get Soul Reaper off. And the only thing I have to worry about is getting grabbed. Actually, I like there's a there's a slight difference, I guess technically. In my AOA combos, I don't TBS as often. Ah, we're live. We win this. You love to see that thing. You love to see that combo, baby. Oh my God, I'm actually glad I'm recording. Holy fuck, was that nasty. There you go. If you are if you started playing Sork since reboot and you don't, you know nothing about that. You know nothing about CC resets like I do. That's all I'm saying. Shout out to the OG Sorks out there. That was a fucking, oh my God. Stun, really? I stunned his ass. Should I go for it again? That's me. I love how Simply Vicious is watching me. That's the boy right there. Oh, owie. So when you're low on stam, that's another thing I need to start incorporating a little more into my play. Oh, nice catch. Oh. Is um using using my health bar. So we have a skill called Dark Trade that allows me to get my shards back. And shards are technically just three more iframes. So 
I, like in exchange of like 20% health or something like that, I get three more iframes. So like it's definitely worth. I'm just happy. I'm just happy right now because I have a montage. That's a montage clip. Like, just straight up. That's a montage kill. That was a little greedy of me for sure. Using only only Stinger to get out of that. I'm so low on stamina. I'm increasing my stamina right now by doing movement combos. This is how you play more stam efficient than what I'm doing. I, I play this game by spamming my abilities and skills into people. It's not smart. If I want to play really well, it's a lot of a lot of this kind of movement. I'm playing for range catches. Honestly, that's probably the most meta playstyle, or like the best playstyle, in my opinion, for 1v1 on Sork. Is this very slow, methodical iframe around, keep your stamina high, uh, and go for range catches kind of playstyle. It's probably the best playstyle, to be honest, but that's cringe, so I don't do it. Rim will just go in there, get in the thick of it, and just start going crazy. Like this baby. Unlucky, he, he immune. I see, see. Unlucky. I have to actually go for a CC reset here. I didn't mean to do that. This is crazy, this combo. No, what the fuck? You desynced. Oh man, that combo would have been sick. I'm surprised I'm actually getting these down smash combos. Uh, like, what the hell? No way this hits again. Like, no way, this is not okay. I can't be doing that to people, bro. I can't be doing that to people. Oh my god. There's no way that lands two times on the same guy. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck you, yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, lucky. You, you rest, you rest. Golly. Bro, I'm just gonna make a montage of him. Unlucky, <laughs> bro. There's no way that actually happened twice. I'm actually, I'm dumbfounded, okay? The odds of that is lower than hitting pin, bro. Just straight up. Alright, this is a beam combo. But I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I think I could catch him with this. I'm kind of curious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, Warrior's the fastest class in the game. Uh, dude, Warrior's the fastest class in the game. Like, my reaction time has to be a millisecond to dodge that shit. I don't know, man. I was sitting there without a, a protection, though, for sure. I was kind of throwing. I wanted to see if I could catch up with a stun, a raw stun. Or even, like, a black wave. Alright, well, I'm gonna catch. I'm lucky. The night, the night falls. So good. The knife. Oh no. <laughs> He's learning. Fuck. I want, there's one other combat I want to try and hit him with to see if it kills. To be honest with you. And what's the black waves? You feel me? A little bit of black wave action. <laughs> it's so funny. I love that skill. That skill's sick. Too bad it's unprotected and not viable in any way. No way. What the fuck just happened? Wait, did I hit him with a stiffen and then a stiffen and then a float? Okay, yeah, my bad. Never mind. Wait, no, then I KD'd him. Did I not? I just hit him with three CC. Like, I don't know. Apparently, I don't know how CC limit works anymore. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I don't, I don't remember what I hit him with, to be honest. I thought I, I, thought I hit CC cap. Oh, let's go, babe. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. 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 Alright, that combo is sick, but it doesn't kill. Unlucky. 
that is a standing stun back attack combo that I came up with a few days ago with the, uh, or I guess a few months ago at this point, uh, with the uh, Fault Finder, and I want to give credit to Fault Finder, and uh, was it Amoria who helped me with that one? I'm not sure actually. I, I know Fault showed me the basics of it though. So. It's kind of cool. The whole idea, I, it might have been Grim actually, to be honest with you, or maybe Tio. I don't know. One of the swords. One of the good swords out there. My memory's hazy, but yeah, the way that combo works is sick. So like normally you go for down attacks, right? Because down attacks are just OP as fuck. But on that combo, you actually just go for back attacks on a standing target with a standing stun. And you get massive debuffs on them with because you hit them with uh, Reaper early. With a uh, what's it called? Soul Reaper. Oh no, that caught me? I guess I was I guess I wasn't in. See you decay man, have a good one bro. Thanks for uh, kicking it with me for a little bit. I know I started my stream super late today, so. Is there lightning going on over there? What the hell the atmosphere? Where the fuck is he, bro? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Bit of a weird, con weird movement, not gonna lie. I need to turn my settings up a little bit. Just a sec. I wanna get my next go. Or that's that's cocky of me. I didn't say that. <laughs> if I get the next scoop, my bad. I'm out here talking like I haven't lost a single one inch. This is pretty one-sided though. I'm not gonna lie. It's good practice versus warrior. I'm still looking for gaps. Still trying to learn the matchup a little bit more. I used to have this matchup down, to be honest with you. Like I felt like I was good at this matchup pre-rework. Post-rework, I'm fucked, dude. I don't know how to fight this thing anymore. Pass is too too good. Too much damage. Too fast. Too much protection. Too oppressive with grabs and slows. Baiting out attacks by getting so close. Oh, oh, I got slowed. Frontal into him. Throw a DOD at his feet. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, he needs to work on his combo for sure. He's not doing bad at catching me though, that's for sure. Immunes, bro. Immunes. Cringe. This duel's going on forever. This is a kill. I got the AP bonus from. Yeah, yeah. I got the AP bonus from hitting him with rushing. That guy fucking ruined. Okay, unlucky. It's starting daytime, I guess, in game, so it's fine. Oh, the light increasing. I'm just hitting it with combo standing, bro, at this point. That's why it's a bad idea, though. 
Good combo, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to get damage off. Without these top three skills you see on my circle fucking cringe <laughs> cooldown list, uh, without those three skills, it's very rough for me to get kills. So as you saw there, I had to use uh, a kick shadow eruption cancel, which is a bit, it's a bit of a more advanced one, but it still gets a kill. Cringe. I saw the immune pop up, unlucky. Taking over the middle of this arena too. In the middle of BA. I wanna see how he reacts. How does he react to me just sitting here and block? Gonna try and go for a stiffen. Okay. Gonna break my block instantly. That's how he reacts. Fuck me, bro. Okay, never mind. That's a bad idea. I can't be doing that. It's cringe when you don't have frontal. On sword, because your my movement and my RMB doesn't work anymore. They should change that. They should make it so at least it. I don't know. I use RMB to cancel a lot of moves, or like to cancel movement skills. Like this is RMB cancel. Same with this. Like if I do this, it's RMB cancel. So they should allow me to do that still. Like because my block is broken, I can't block at all. I, mean, I wouldn't mind if it like at least have the animation there, but make it so. Uh, like if I try and go for it or like if I try and actually block anything, I just still die. I'd be fine with that. It's just cringe. Cause like my animation does like it's not even there anymore. Yeah, playing with the broken frontal on sword is rough in general. Cause it really it actually just forces you to not flash frontals anymore. Ooh, we got them. I thought I got out. 